Friends, welcome to Green Car Guys TV. In this episode, I want to share with you what proposal in Congress is going on about Dreamers. Now, we already know that the House of Representatives already passed a proposal, a bill about American Dream and Promise Act. This was a couple months ago already, but the Senate is still in a log jam. They haven't done anything. But today is not so much about immigration reform, but about what Democrats are doing to protect Dreamers information. Now, let me share with you on the screen right here. This is about Senate Bill number 846. This is filed, let's see here, introduced in the Senate March 18, 2021. Now, I'm sharing here this with you because a lot of Dreamers have been concerned about, you know, if just in general, when the DACA was created back in 2012, if the any information about their address, for example, can be used against them. Currently, yes, U.S. immigration agencies, they can find a way to uh, obtain your address. And, you know, if there's a if there's a crime, for example, been committed, then they can locate your address. Right. And, and issue you a, a arrest warrant and take you into detention, a detention center. So here it shows in the bill that it, the subject or the bill proposal name, the title name is Protect Dreamer Confidentially, Confidentiality Act of 2021. Specifically, this bill is to direct the Department of Homeland Security to prevent disclosing your information from applications from DACA program to US ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, if you're not familiar with the ICE, that's basically the police of immigration in America. And not to share information to, also not to share it with US Customs and Border Protection, uh, which some people just refer to as customs, which you can find at a port of entry, for example, like El Paso, uh, or at a air, any air, international airport here in the United States. And it says application information may be shared only to identify or prevent fraudulent claims for national security purposes or to investigate and prosecute a felony not related to immigration status, okay? So it also says this bill prohibits DHS from referring any individual with deferred action to ICE, Customs, Border Protection, and Department of Justice. So hopefully that gives you some information and I wanna share also how many sponsors there are right now for this proposal. And it looks like there's 18 co-sponsors. So that's that's pretty good. That's a decent number. Um, but, yeah, I just want to share this because, you know, this has been a concern since 2012 uh, because some people think that if they had applied for DACA, does that – and if they're denied or at some point in the future, will they be referred to ICE or the immigration court? Uh, and from what I know, none of my clients have been referred to – uh, those agencies, thankfully, but I just want to share this. It's, I mean, I wouldn't consider it good news. I mean, it's a good, it's a good proposal, definitely for immigrant immigrants, but of course we're still in a proposal phase, only introduction. It, it's gone to a committee, but there hasn't been any movement on it recently. It's only been introduced a month and a half ago, but we'll definitely update you as things progress. And of course, if you're just joining our channel for the first time, we do offer free 15 minute preliminary discussion. Contact us here, you can text us here, or you can call us. Or if you do have more time, you're on a computer, please fill out the intake form down below. It starts with Ting Law. And also friends, when you do call us and you want that 15 minutes free, please provide this not so secret code, green card guys. And our CARES team will contact you within 24 hours of business day. Until next time, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.